Hi, I'm Mrs. Dean Math. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over dividing fractions in seventh grade math. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we're dividing positive and negative fractions, we need to remember to follow the same rules as dividing integers. So again, those rules, if you don't remember, are going to be if they're the same sign. My answer is positive. So if I have a negative divided by a negative, I'm gonna have a positive answer. If they're both positive, my answer is gonna stay positive. And then if one is negative and one number is positive, we're going to end up with a negative answer. Doesn't matter if it's the larger number or the smaller number that's negative. If one's negative and one's positive, we have a negative answer. So let's go ahead and do a practice problem here. So in order to divide fractions, what we're actually doing is multiplying by the reciprocal. So I am gonna go ahead and write this as a multiply problem. So my first fraction stays the same. My divide changes to multiply and my second fraction is going to flip. So that's my reciprocal. Again, it's gonna stay a negative because the whole fraction's negative, not just one number or the other. So now I am going to follow my multiplying rules. And so if I multiply three times three in the numerator, I get nine. Five times two in the denominator, I get 10. I cannot do anything else with nine tenths. And I'm gonna go back. They are both negative. So my answer is a positive nine tenths. Let's go ahead and try another problem here. So now if I have negative two thirds divided by five eighths, I'm going to again, keep my first fraction the same and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So now I'm gonna multiply numerator times numerator. So two times eight is 16, three times five is 15. Since these are different signs, I'm going to have a negative answer, but I do need to change this into a mixed number. So it's going to end up being a negative one, 15 goes into 16 one time, and I have a remainder of one 15th. If you don't remember how to turn an improper fraction into a mixed number, there is a video under sixth grade math that will go back over how to do this. So now we have two answers, one's positive and one's negative. If the problem has mixed fractions, you're gonna to need to turn those into improper fractions. Then you're gonna to have to multiply by the reciprocal. So just make sure if the number is a mixed number that you turn it into an improper fraction before you multiply by the reciprocal. So let's go ahead and try a couple of problems here. So first we have five and two fifths. So my first step, I need to do popcorn or around the world, whatever you wanna call it. So five times five is 25 plus two is 27 over five. So I have to turn three and one third into an improper fraction before I can do my keep change flip. So three times three is nine plus one is 10 thirds. So now in order to divide these, I'm going to keep my first fraction the same and then multiply by the reciprocal. Again, I had to turn this into an improper fraction before I could flip it. So now I'm gonna go through here and I can't reduce anything, so I'm gonna multiply straight across the top. So 27 times three is 81 and five times 10 is 50 but I do end up with an improper fraction. So let me go back really quickly before I complete this and check my signs. And since both of these original numbers were positive, my answer is positive. 50 goes into 81 one time. And I know that when I subtract that, I have 31 out of 50 as my remainder. So my answer is one and 31 fiftieths. Let's try one more problem here. So now I have seven tenths, which I can keep that the same. And then I need to change this negative four and four fifths into an improper fraction. So four times five is 20 plus four is 24 over five. Then I'm gonna go ahead and keep change flip and it was a negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that negative there. So now I have 7 tenths times negative 5 over 24. And I do know that I can reduce 5 and 10. Those both are divisible by 5, so that's going to reduce to 1 over 2. And I can't reduce 7 and 24, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply now. 
Um, I'm going to rewrite my problem, 7 halves times negative 1 over 24. And that's going to end up being a negative, because one's positive and one's negative, 7 over 48. And I know I can't reduce that any farther, so a negative 7 48 is my final answer. So thanks for joining me today for dividing fractions in seventh grade math. I'm Mrs. D Math. Have a great day. Bye.